Chris Stewart once again for BamaFever.com coming to you from Auburn Arena, a new facility here at Auburn University where Alabama comes in for the first time and picks up a W, 68-58 the final score. It was far from a thing of beauty at times, but there's not room, thankfully, atop the standings for uh, descriptions. Alabama leading the SEC West and the overall standings now with a 4-1 league mark after getting the 10-point win. The free throw line is where Alabama really was able to do a lot of damage in this one, especially late. Tide finishes up 24 of 30 for 80 percent. Tide also made somewhere like 15 of 18 over the last two minutes and 15 seconds to pull away from the Tigers late. They changed their defense because they really forced you to play kind of an ugly game because of how strong they are on the defensive end. But Alabama able to play through that, able to play with some discipline, and able to get some strong free throw shooting late to hang on and get the victory by 10. One of the things we talked with Anthony Grant about and with Chris Hines in the post game is the fact that things have changed a little bit for Alabama. They've gone from just trying to kind of fly under the radar and, and get better to now being a team that is atop the standings. They've gotten a big win on national TV against the 12th ranked Kentucky squad and now every game from this point forward they will get everybody else's best game. Anthony Grant says we're not going to worry about that. We're going to go ahead and take care of the things that we can handle and he hopes for his team they can improve over this week. They don't have to play a midweek game. LSU comes to Coleman Coliseum for a 7 o'clock start on Saturday night at Coleman Coliseum. We'll be on the air beginning at 6.30 on Saturday and until then I'm Chris Stewart. Thanks for joining us right here at BamaFever.com.